The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack? Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well... Not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Good morning. Yeah. Whatever you want. I don't have the time. I guess I should go find Paul. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for... Um, I, it's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, I'm, yeah. I doubt he's out here. I'd better head into the campus. Whoa. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. <laughs> That's vaguely ominous. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, come, come on, on Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> Hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. 
All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Now I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Liam Burke, a Monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. Welcome home. Six years, and I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the... First class, thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Hey, how much did you pay them to put this on display when I got here? Even I'm not that tacky. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? 
Oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted, scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. <laughs> That's just the chronon conduit initiating. Oh, 
was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's there's two of you. You just fucking mul This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from 2 minutes in the future. Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good. Time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will! Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what?
You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. This. It should have worked. It should have worked. Is this really happening? What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Will. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it... it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the well, server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. I warned Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of you. Shh, you. Now what? I don't know. 
We are on this side. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to take the service elevator. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your support. biggest concern right now? Back up's en route to flush him out. <sighs> you don't know. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... Context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh God! Target's armed! Opening fire! We're pinned down! Yeah, I noticed. Jesus, who is this guy? Stay down. Put down the gun, Joyce! And stop fucking shooting at us! God damn it! Will, are you okay? I think so. Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. There's the elevator. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Better team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know I'm in. They knew we'd be here. The elevator. The elevator. Go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just... Just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Oh! Well? Oh, crap. Frozen again.
Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of us. Where's your car? This way. Come on, the stutter could collapse at any moment. I've met this girl. What are you doing? On my way here. I'm gonna get her moving. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. Take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. Jack, be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's... Direct fire! I'm supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. Seven different parking lots and you just had to pick this one. Where's your car, Will? I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university.
hope to God I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from right away. Right. I gotta get back. I swear to God, it's too hard. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated then. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah. But definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. before it's too late. I need visual 
Gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. We got contact! It's Joyce! Okay, gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. to reach Will before it's too late. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come from? That looks like a way up. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine Corps in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! What the hell is going on around here? HQ, we've got... 
got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Hey, got Over. I wonder where the brother is. Watch the skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction. <laughs> Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Hold that thought. I think so. Thank <laughs> you. 
We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! doing only what's necessary think about this you don't know what's at stake i know exactly what's at stake that's why i'm here you believe you can stop what's coming i'm giving you one chance to change your mind this path it's already said it can't be changed the past the future uh, uh, i've seen it i've lived it for 17 years 17 years it was you the first experiment come with me and we can see this through or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. <gasps> My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. 
Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start All asking clear, questions. Sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Mr. Serene? Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a statement. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose and hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You Our secrets would be safe. But the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk, keep eyes on them, and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... 
Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. <sighs> Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional to- Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. 
filming. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Looks like that elevator needs power. No power. Figures.
There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Clonin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. You both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out. But Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Jack Joyce. You. From the protest. What do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. 
They're blaming you, Jack. <sighs> I'm possible. This isn't good. Once that newscast goes live, the whole city is gonna be against you. Nobody's gonna have a clue what really happened. Do you think the others are okay? Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That can be fixed. Oh my god! You're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, that's something to look forward to. I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that? We're locked out. Maybe you can show me that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. there to steal the project from the university but why steal something for yourself also i saw that guy paul serene on campus once and he looked like 30 years old so if you started monarch in 1999 that would make him 14. so unless he's a dookie house or corporate so paul founded monarch to that open window. Jack, the window.
Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. That's it. Made it. here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have like done. A terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. To speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Did I scream enough for you? <laughs> My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Shit! Get away! Did you see that? Joyce, you got nowhere to go! Kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Enemy spotted! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother.
hostile! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock the door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open?
back. Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? The CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole... Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. Joyce! H2! <laughs> Dr. Sofia Amara. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances. <laughs> 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 Jack? Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? ...that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Target's here! Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Start searching! Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of Better known as... Thanks for the heads up. We have uh. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for before the fracture. For more information, please refer to your employee manual. Thank you for your time. Got 
be something I can use to get up there. some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight? Tonight? After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that I got briefcase we lifted from William, from William Joyce's, Joyce's car. car. Laid out the Laid contents, contents in the trailer. The trailer. You, want you want me to go through? No, no. Serene, Serene wants, wants the first the look. look. Till then, Til then, hands off. Hands off. Okay. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. Jesus! <clears throat> HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as ground zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the I wanted to see it. It seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and Serene. Thank <laughs> you. 
driving, guys. Fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? <clears throat> what the hell? What, the hell? what, is, what this? is this? That already happened. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. 
Please, please, don't do this. Don't do this. Hello, hello. Countermeasure. I hope to God this works. works. Will. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. something wrong with Paul. Cornon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
stutters were getting bad. He's shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. I ride my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people?
What led you to the swimming hall? Owil said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Modern doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Jack, you coming or what? 